Today, I'm going to be going over my top four college football props for today. Today is Saturday, October 5th, 2024. Guys, we absolutely crushed it yesterday in VIP. You need to go sign up on patreon.com slash test the limit. The link is in the comment. But guys, we hit this five pick and I literally all end what I had left in prize picks after I, uh, I put in my MLB plays early yesterday. I put them in for today. But um, I played like $1,000 on MLB, and then I had 1300 left over, and I was researching League of Legends, and we found this. And I was actually live streaming over on Kick, if you want to follow the Kick at Test the Limit. But um, I was live, uh, live streaming my research, and I loved this five pick. I didn't even play any two picks. Typically, I'll play a five or a six pick, and then play a combination of a few two picks as well. But I posted this in Discord. And all I said with this was, this shit's hitting. And lucky for us, um, $1,300 to $13,000 was my biggest withdrawal on prize picks in like two months because I've been following such tight bankroll management, $100, $200 on plays. But wow, Um absolutely amazing i have a lot of league of legends already posted for today that starts in a few hours just posted i have some mlb posted i have some college football that i just posted uh and then we have nfl tomorrow so go join vip guys it's only 20 dollars a month and i promise you it's going to be worth it but go ahead and join vip um link is in the description or if you use code ttl over on underdog chalkboard or sleeper you do get a deposit bonus on all three websites and a month free of VIP for each one you sign up to and deposit. So, but let's get into the uh, college football picks for today, guys. I'm just, I'm still stunned at yesterday. I immediately withdrew $10,000. You can see I have $3,900 in my balance after my college football plays, today's league plays, all that. But just still, uh, I don't know, man. It's very blessed. But um, let's get into today's picks. And two of these are actually two of the top three picks. But hear me out it's because correlation i love doing correlation last video i posted on youtube was two days ago for thursday night football we hit a four pick i had a four pick correlated nfl slip we smashed it uh i do think we're going to do the same today with college football i do believe it's like an 8.5 x because it's not all in the same game but i'm loving this so we're going to start out with this game right here. And we're going to take Jackson Dart over passing yards. And we're going to take Trey Harris over receiving yards. Now Trey Harris worries me a little bit. Just because he's been bumped so much. Initially he was in the low 90s. Like 91 and a half. 92 and a half. Now he's all the way at 98 and a half. I do think, still think he cashes this though. So let's lock that one in. Let's head over to Outlier. And take a look at the stats for these. So college football. Players, and we're going to take Jackson Dart and Trey Harris right here. So we can take Jackson Dart over passing yards. We can take a look at this season. He's went over in four out of five games. The one game he went under, he still had 261 passing yards. His line's at 290, 289.5. Um, he's averaging 363 with a median of 377. Now, SC's passing yard defense, they are 21st in the league, allowing 161 per game. But in this matchup, I do think that Jackson Dar is going to be able to pass the ball a lot, especially with his receivers like Trey Harris. And we can take a look. They have a 50% passing rate compared to a 50% running rate. I do think this game should stay pretty close. And if it, uh, if it comes down to it, I do think Ole Miss will be down a little bit. So I think they should be able to pass the ball. Um, Loving this matchup, though. Jackson Dart over passing yards with Trey Harris over receiving yards. We can see Trey Harris has gone over in four out of his last five as well this season. He's averaging 161 receiving yards per game with a median of 176. And we can actually see the one game he went under was literally four and a half receiving yards. 94 still. So... I do think that he's going to be able to go over this. His target share percentage is a 36.1% target share. So I'm loving this. Let's lock it in. And let's head over to the other two pick that I'm liking to pair with these two. And that's going to be... Let me go ahead and pull it up on my... Uh, over here. 
I didn't realize that it was uh, sharing my entire screen, by the way. I should probably set it to just prize picks. But you just saw it, uh, the screenshot from my uh, VIP anyway. But <laughs> Miller Moss, we're going to take Miller Moss under his passing yards. And then we're going to take Kyron Hudson under his receiving yards. And I just don't think they're going to be able to pass the ball against this great defense on the other end. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. So Miller Moss and then Kyron Hudson. And we can take a look for Kyron Hudson first because he's at the main top right here. First in the league receiving yard defense, allowing 97 receiving yards per game. They are against an immense uh, defense, and he's only went over this one game this season as well. He has come close in another where he got 42 receiving yards in that game, but 16, 31, 42, and then he got 83 versus LSU. Um, I don't think he's going to have a pop-off game like that again today. Now, USC do, does have a 62% passing rate compared to a 38% running rate, but there are other receivers to pass to. Kyron Hudson's third on the list. You have Zachariah Branch, Jacoby Lane, and then Kyron Hudson. So I do think that there are other options for them to go to today. I don't think Hudson's going to get many opportunities, and I'm loving his under 43.5 receiving yards. And I also think they could be running the ball quite a bit today. So we're also going to take Miller Moss under passing yards. Again, first in the league, allowing 97 passing yards per game. So I don't think we're going to have any issues here. In this season, he has gone over in two and under in two. And his average is just over this at 299.5. So um, we'll see how we turn out today. This is the one prop that scares me most today is Miller Moss. But... He got 378 versus LSU, then 229, 283, and then 308 in that last game. Um, obviously, they do have a 62% passing rate compared to the 38% running rate. So they tend to pass the ball a lot. But I don't think he's going to be able to get there today versus the best defense in the league. Um, again, they are literally ranked one. It's not a opinion or anything like that. They are for, first in the league for least amount of rece uh, receiving and passing yards allowed. So I'm loving this. Let's lock them in, guys. So again, we can see Jackson Dart over passing yards, Trey Harris over receiving yards, Miller Moss under passing yards, and then finally Kyron Hudson under receiving yards. We're getting an 8.5x here. I did $100 to win $850. Not going to keep my bankroll doing $1,000 plays or anything like that just because we hit 13 k But... We are going to um, just keep on playing our normal bankroll, $100, $200 per slip. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button. And guys, again, go join VIP. You're not going to regret it, especially with NFL Sunday being tomorrow. We're going to cash our MLB today. We're going to cash our League of Legends today. And then we're going to go right back tomorrow, and we're going to cash our NFL. So thank you guys for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next one.